Alright guys, so I got early access to the new Iron Banner weapons. Okay, well not really, but in reality I saved up 9 Iron Banner bounties from last season just to turn them in this season in the hopes of getting the new Iron Banner shotgun and unfortunately I did not, but I did manage to snatch the new hand cannon and sniper rifle from Iron Banner, so in this video we're going to be going over the gameplay I managed to get with those guns and whether I think they are good or not. Alright, so first let's go over the sniper rifle and then after that we will go over the new hand cannon. So in my opinion, I felt like the sniper felt amazing. Like seriously, it felt really good in my opinion. It felt like the bullets for the sniper were magnets to the enemy's head. I was hitting some crazy snipes with this thing. It felt like it had amazing aim assist. Although apparently it only has 47 aim assist, so I guess not, but I don't know, it just felt really crispy. Like overall, to me, the sniper felt really nice. And apparently, this sniper has a whopping 58 zoom, which I did not know about until just now before I made this video and I checked on light.gg. And this is genuinely surprising to me because I would have assumed this thing had like 45 zoom, like the same amount as a Dord. It did not feel like a telescope to me, it just felt like a nice crispy sniper. And I know I said crispy a lot, but that's just the best word to describe this sniper, okay? And the sniper is a 72 round per minute sniper, meaning that if you have any damage buffs, then you can one shot body shot most players in the game. I know there is a certain resilience level that you can beat to where you won't get one shot body shot, but most people will get one shot body shot with this sniper as long as you have a damage buff. But anyways, now let's talk about the hand cannon, and let me start it off by saying it is a 140 round per minute hand cannon, which they are not in exactly what we in the biz call a meta archetype. Although 140s are kind of weird to be honest, because they're not exactly bad, they're just not good, you know? But either way, this hand cannon's pretty good, you know, it doesn't have the best perks in the game, but it's still not bad, you know, if you don't have palindrome, this is definitely a good one to go for, but if you do have palindrome, I'd probably just stick with palindrome, because, I mean, we're probably not ever gonna get a energy 140 hand cannon that's gonna beat out palindrome. Also, just watch how I destroy these kids with heritage of all guns. It was quite satisfying to watch, I'm not gonna lie. Although I will give credit to Finna Impactor, which is the name of the hand cannon, because it does have really good recoil direction. It's basically just straight up and down, which I really like. Also, Finna Impactor does have some pretty good accuracy. As long as you're in the vicinity of their head, you will get a headshot, so that's definitely an upside. But either way, in conclusion, I'm just gonna say that this is basically a palindrome replacement for anybody that does not have palindrome because, you know, it's still a good 140 hand cannon, but it's nowhere near as good as palindrome in my personal opinion. So guys, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you did find that helpful, enjoyable, informative, any of those things. And if you did, please consider going down and dropping a like on the video and subscribing to the channel with notifications on because it really does help out a lot. But thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.